Welcome everybody to episode two of the spring sports update here from News Graphic as we talk about Scott County sports and it is a busy spring season as you all know uh, just about every team uh, ranked has some state aspirations so let's get right to it. Baseball it was a slow start to the season but it seems like when the Cardinals went down to Florida to Vero Beach they kind of got some things in order won four out of five down there and it has continued upon returning home they're on a stretch of winning nine of their last ten to improve to 13-5 and five overall, 5-0 five and oh in the 42nd district. That's significant because they have won 32 consecutive district games dating back to the end of the 2015 season. How long that streak will continue will probably determine, will definitely determine where the cards are seated going into the tournament. We're only about at the halfway point of the season, but they like to get these district games wrapped up early. One more with Bryan Station. It will have been played by the time you watch this, and then a big series with Henry Clay next week to basically settle the number one seed. So we'll see how that goes. The Cards have been really challenging themselves. They played St. X in an early season game, uh, playing in a couple of tournaments here coming up here at the end of April, the LIT this weekend. That'll be a big test as they play three games, including PRP. So uh, a good, good challenge for baseball there. Softball has been kind of a strange spring. They've needed to get some games for this younger team to get acclimated, and they've just had a lot of them washed out. The entire tournament at Elizabethtown last weekend wiped out because of rain. So right now the Lady Cards are 8-4. and four. Only one game scheduled this week as of now, and it'll be at Frederick Douglass on Thursday night, and that's a big one in the district. As It's been 10 years since anyone in the 42nd district has been able to beat Scott County. But Frederick Douglass ranked in at least one top 25 poll, so that should be a, a good matchup. Uh, Carly Oliver, Savannah Merriman, Nani Valencia continuing to lead that team at the plate along with Sam Sims and some great pitching from Kate Mullins. Track, they're getting fired up. Uh, it's, it's been a tough schedule for them, too, in terms of weather, but uh, some, some good performances at the all-comers meets. The boys have won a pair of meets so far, and it seems like they're uh, both their sprints and their distances are getting into form and of course we're still waiting to see brian hudson cut loose as he is the two-time defending champion in both throwing events shot put in discus i'm sure cards are counting on him to do some great things at the end of the season as well let's talk about lacrosse for a minute because both those teams have been ranked in the top 10 of the state of course it's a growing sport in kentucky and especially here in the central region where uh, the teams have kind of taken a back seat to the louisville clubs but uh, Scott County boys have won nine straight games, some big wins over the weekend. One in northern Kentucky against the combo team featuring some players from Ryle and some other schools. And a win over Central Harden makes them 9-1 and one on the season. Big showdown, may or may not be done by the time you watch this, but they have a top 10 battle against Frederick Douglass at home on Wednesday night this week, April the 24th. And that should settle a lot of the playoff uh, pairings. Going forward, their season getting pretty much wrapped up here as we enter the first part of May. And uh, lacrosse shooting for uh, its best season ever on the boys' side, certainly. Now, the girls have been to the state final, at least the uh, Lexington area state final, two of the past three years. They were undefeated until a recent loss to Lafayette, 9-7. to seven. Still a lot of great expectations there as they go into the playoffs, so we'll watch for the girls as well in lacrosse. Tennis has been kind of up and down. The boys have improved a lot this year. The girls have been winning most of their matches on the strength of uh, some veterans, Olivia Gallagher, Grace Gardner, Megan Moore, you, the names you've seen here for the past three or four years. Olivia has yet to play in singles, where she's a two-time state semi uh, quarterfinalist. Rather, we'll see if they cut her loose here at the end of the year to get her ready for that. Some great stuff here in the spring season. As we said, baseball, softball about halfway. We're looking forward to coming at you in a couple more weeks. Hope to talk about where they're at going into probably a top-seeded situation in district. And track will be winding down its season and getting ready for championships as well at that point. Until then, hope you can make it out to some games. Look forward to seeing you.